Sea Wink, possibly my favourite from a, a visual standpoint. Um, I always like manta rays anyway. And the detailing on this is uh, the same as all the others. Look at the sculpting all the way around the wings. Just a beautiful bit of kit. There is near on nothing wrong with this alt mode. It just looks nice. I mean, the mouth opens like the front snout end. It looks good. It looks it looks attractive as a uh, as a piece. And it does it, you know, they all do their job. They all do what they're supposed to do. They're all supposed to represent these fearful, beastie creatures. And they all do. They all they all are quite horrible sea creatures. I mean you wouldn't want to come across any of these in a on a dark and windy night, would you? I've just folded those feet up even though it's told me. Oh sorry, the feet are supposed to be up in. Or whatever. <laughs> we'll get there in the end, ladies and gentlemen. We'll get there in the end. And now it's saying fold those feet back down. Okay. Whack the weaponry back together again. And this is why I think I like Sea Wing best as a target master for Piranacon. Rather than any of the others, if it would like. Does it go together? There we go. Is it just looks fierce? It looks lovely. It looks like a gun, you know. Um, if you, you know, when you put the fist in there, it, these bits clasp around it, and you've got this massive sort of shield blaster area. Really, really do love this guy in this mode. Um, the sad thing is, he looks as good as an arm as he does as a uh, as a gun. But this is why this is why I like the Seacons because they have, some of them are so utterly brilliant that you can have them in the various different modes and it looks good. Now I'm going to highlight one of the big problems with this remolding or with this mold mode <laughs> mold overall is overbite. There you go. Now overbite's got that little piece in there because that's where his uh, target master goes. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, yes, yeah, so that's where the target master stuffs and the way, because obviously that's got to go in the, put you down, otherwise I'm going to be fat. That little part there goes in the robot hand. Now that bit there is the same width as that, so it's supposed to be able to fit in, but it's just too narrow. I mean, there's no give to it, there's no grip to it at all, especially when that's tight, no problem. You know, really disappointing, really disappointing that they haven't strengthened that up. But what you do get, you do get a really nice. Legged shark. Mm -hmm. Shark to puss. Go and see that film when you can. It looks hilariously bad. Um, uh, legged and arm shark. Go there. Um, yeah, articulated arms. Again, they pop off so you can, for the robot mode. Um, and opening and closing jaw. The fin folds down for the thing, as does that. Um, and the basic articulation in the legs as well. It's a very basic figure. This is the one that's had the majority, the main colour scheme change. This was a lot darker purple. And I'm not sure if that is a moulding um, issue, cost set cutting issue possibly, because if you look at the others, none of them have that dark purple on it, or never did. Um, some of them I think did originally, um, but none of them have got it. So they're sort of like they've removed one of the colours from the, the palette entirely. No, I don't think any of them had it. So yeah, it would have just been him, and it'd been w the weapon and the main body and his fists, all of which have been recast in this um, this same pink as as the arms. What, what colour was his? Uh, what colour was his little beastie arms? No, the beastie arms were pink as well in the original. And it's weird that they've got the box art. They've actually got this as the purple, and them as the purple, and that's purple. But it looks like a cost cutting measure, to be honest, uh, which is kind of sad. But at the same time, it's nice to be able to distinguish them from the original G1 ones, um, because without. Um, a, a definite marking. These just look like a really good quality G11, and there is only a few minor paint um, differences and minor color differences that mean that you can actually tell them apart. Which is, again, it's a slight shame because the last thing you want to do is have people buying these on the strength that they're the original G11 ones. I know people are still after the original G1 figures rather than buying the these versions of them. Um, why is beyond me, but I understand that some people just want that original G1 stuff rather than the reissues. But this, the more I'm fiddling around with this and the more I'm playing with it, it's just nicer and nicer. And I'm really glad that I got to review this because it's just a stunning piece of kit. And now there we have him in his target master mode. Sort of just fold him out a bit, you know. Again, nice enough, but not really earth shatteringly beautiful, is he? Um, as you can see, that's why I prefer Sea Wing. 
Sea Wing wins overall because it just looks great in comparison to all the others. I like these these double laser ones. Scalor looks quite good. Not like a tentacill. Mm. Overbite. Overbite is more narrow and is the one that you should have as the target master according to the instructions and the box art and just about everything. But you know what? Sea Wing's my, uh, my one. But there we go. That's all of them in their target master mode. So let's crack on and get them to the rope mode because this is already a 15 minute video. And... Uh, you guys could be sat here for another 20 minutes while I finish this guy, finish these guys off. That doesn't sound good. Uh, <laughs> so we'll, we'll uh, re revert him to his robot mode. Pop that out. Now, the arms are supposed to stay like so on the side. Um, yeah, because that's the only way you're not going to lose them, to be perfectly honest with you. Is by doing that. So, that. Rotates round, nice and solid. Yeah. There's Scramble City combiners. I mean, Scramble City combiners. What is there to say about their robot modes, other than hindered by the fact they need to combine? I mean, he's solid enough. He looks fine, but it's just a bit poo, isn't it, really? There's no uh, articulation that the arms is good, but then, that's it, there's no low leg articulation. He's got a tiny pinhead, massive gun. It's a nice aesthetic, but you're not... In fairness, you ain't going to have them in these modes, are you? You are just going to have them in their robot, in their uh, combined mode, or possibly in their uh, their Seacom mode, but I can't see many people who would choose to have these guys in their robot mode. And yes, I know I'm doing a transformation on screen, which we don't normally do, but rather than uh, have to do the whole thing, uh, uh, oh yes, rather than doing the whole thing off camera, I mean, it's Generation One toys. You know, you guys have. If you haven't seen them by now, then and there's so much transforming to do with these things. There's so many different modes to have them in. I mean, each of the the limbs have the four modes between them, um, or each, sorry, and then. I keep wanting to call him Turtlator from uh, Master Force or wherever it was, but no, um, Snaptrap has you know three modes in himself as well, and it's a transform between all of them. Great little bot mode, actually. That one looks really nice with the two guns. Problem is, Pinhead again, no articulation on the legs. Nice stick wraps to sort of give an impression of having legs there, but you know what? It's still, it's nice enough, but it's still a bit bow, isn't it? Really, um, yeah. There's a lot of transforming to be done with these guys, and I'm kind of wittering as I do it, and I'm sure most of you have probably switched off by now or skipped to the end, so I can kind of say what I want. Um, and hopefully I haven't got to edit this down too much. Hopefully um, by the time I've done this, this will be up and ready. Uh, I think that's it. Is that up or down? Yeah, it's a... up or down, up or down. Let's have it down. And yet again, it's a simple transformation, you know, you basically fold off part of it, pull part, another part of it out so it's got legs. Well, that was a bit of non too subtle editing there for you, my good friends. I do apologise. Technical errors and all of that. Yeah, there you go, there's the completed technical. We'll crack on with Nauta later, get him finished off into his robot mode, remove the old base. Now, again, we just had these simple, simple figures. If I can remember what they need to what I need to do with them, it would be useful. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, well, that's it. That is it. That's all you get with Nauta later. Uh, you can fold if you get these out of the way. So, let's remove the claws. You can fold the arms back, but then of course you've got nowhere to store the claws. So. It's a tough one, what do you do with him? Again, he's a distinctly average robot, not offering very much in the way of anything. But, you know what, as, as I say, as a group, they actually look quite nice together. They look like they could actually, you know, they, they, they're cohesive. They're a nice piece. I'm probably repeating myself, because I have actually recorded this some hours later than the first piece. On to C-Wing. What was his? Was that his original name? I really don't remember that being his original name. That clip is a toughie. Uh, what do we do with old C Wing here? Ah, yes. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
just give him those extra leggy bits. Again, none too comp none too bad, none too comp they're not not bad bottom modes, they're just not good bot modes really, are they? Um for what they were, Scramble City Combiners, they are probably the some of the better Scramble City Combiner robots. Um Yeah, fairly kibble heavy. Um, you know, there's nothing too amazing in the transformation. They're not offering much in the way of sculpted detail for the robot mode uh, rude mode. Um for the robot. Um, they're not. Much, we're never going to offer much in the way of articulation, but you know, as I say, they do what they're paid to do, and that's to be. You know, see, so can't that's not going to stay. Yeah, <laughs> you know, they're they're paid to be limbs. They're paid to be generic limbs, um, and the fact that you've got these five different bots with a different weapon is quite nice.